Hi everyone, it's the Board Gaming Pinup Girl at Gen Con. This is technically day two, but we'll say day one because we actually went out and did some stuff. Got to meet some really great people. So hello to everybody who we saw from Instagram or any other social media. It was great to meet you and we're so glad that you're supporting us. We love it. So please let us know how we're doing. We really appreciate it. On to the games. So this was gifted to me, Mystic Veil. So Mystic Veil, oh, I can see the whole box there. I have not played it, but a lot of people have been talking about this. I have to say the card backings with the clear, and I think they have sleeves. It's like, that is so pretty. It reminds me of those gloom cards with the see-through kind of look to them. I love that. So I'm really excited to see what the hype is all about and to see if it meets the hype. So this is something we're probably gonna pull out tonight. So this one's by AEG Games and it's supposed to be a big deal. So I'm excited to see how this plays. So hopefully we'll get this out tonight. Next is the networks. So the networks, and as you can see a little bit of that there, was something I had seen on Kickstarter actually, and I hummed and hawed about getting it, and I finally bought it today. So I was really excited, and as you saw earlier in the video, the Gaming Maven and the Games Teacher also acquired this game. We were unable to get the Kickstarter part that came with it. We were a bit too late, but I think the game will be really good regardless. So. This one I'm very, very excited to play. Theme really appeals to me. So we'll definitely have more on this for you, but I just wanted to kind of show you what I've acquired so far. And lastly, I know it seems like I didn't buy a lot, but I was being conservative for today, <laughs> was Aquasphere. So this is a Steppenfeld game. So this is one that I'm sure a lot of you have seen. It's not new, but I'm trying to round out my Steppenfeld collection. This is one that I didn't have. This is quite the colorful game and anybody who has played a Steffenfeld game, we'll know lots going on, point salady type game. So as soon as I play this, we'll definitely have a review for you. Okay, so I'm really excited to try this one out. I also received some non-gaming things. So this here was from Argyle Games. This was so nice that they made these for me because I'm a little strange bird. So we have some earrings that have sparkle or that's glitter, maybe Swarovski crystal type things on them. So they're meeples with crystal. So they were fabulous enough to make me not one, not two, but three awesome colors. So I'm definitely gonna be sporting these around Gen Con. So that's my purchases for today. It was just a little bit, but we met a lot of people, a lot of talking, and I think tomorrow we'll definitely get those games in. So that's day one at Gen Con with To Die For Games, and we'll bring you some more stuff for day two. So stay tuned. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Tracy the Gaming Maven here. Hi, I'm Steph the Games Teacher, and we're here at the end of our first day at our first ever Gen Con. Yay! We went a little by happy today and we picked up a bunch uh, of games. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, just to get us started off, Terraforming Mars. This is one that was on both of our lists. It's from Stronghold Games. I bought it mostly because the player mats look really interactive, it looks really cool. You're kind of making Mars habitable. And it's so. a space theme, and I'm really all about sci-fi stuff. So. And I started to get into sci-fi, so I think I'm really going to like this one. Next up, we got The Networks from Formal Ferret Games. I just love the name of that company. <laughs> and uh, we really like the uh, the game. We missed out on the Kickstarter, so we wanted to make sure we got it before it went out of production. And this was one I totally bought just because it, it looks awesome, so I'm really hoping it lives up to the, the hype. So. It's getting some good reviews online. Yeah. Now, this one's been on our list because we are Feld fans. So our co-host Mandy has this game, and we've been trying to find a copy, and we found one here for a really great price. Yeah. Luna from TMG Games. Yeah, so this is like our eighth or ninth Feld game. So this is a fun one because it's got really cool modular board with the little islands. So I was, I really quite like this this game. It's, it's a fantastic looking game. Great stuff. Another game that Mandy, thank you Mandy, <laughs> for showing us all these awesome games. Happy, Happy Pigs, Pigs by Cielo. Oh, happy big. They're square cubic pigs. What can go wrong with that? It's a fun little engine building game and it came with an expansion of pigs and penguins. Penguins. Yeah. I'm not sure how they work that in. We'll let you know. So that should be interesting. Now this is one Steph. I know nothing about this game, but... It, it came with a few... Uh, a, there's the base game and the expansion, New Bedford, and it's published by Dice Hate Me Games. 
Uh, I missed out on the Kickstarter for this one as well, and the art really appeals to me. Uh, it's about whaling in uh, New England, and it came with the mini expansion Which you, as well. Which you think would sound like a really boring subject, but looking at the back and then looking at images online, wow, like really trust. And of course, at Gen Con, they're really big about giving exclusive promos. And I won't complain about that. There's this one called Ambergris, which is kind of cool because we just recently play tested the game by the same name from a local designer. So I kind of like that there's this tiny little promo expansion. Next up, let's see. We're going to go to yes. uh, stuff we got from Blue Orange Games, New York 1901. This is cool because one of the designers, Chenier Lasalle, uh, is it Chenier? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he actually lives very close to us, on, just across the river in Quebec. In the Gatineau side, so and it's gonna be kind of cool to hopefully meet up with him. The con promo for this was they gave us these nope. wooden barrels. Yes. Nope. No. We got. Uh, that? Oh, that was for Vikings. No, we got these cool things. I'm Painted them figurines. Up we got them from the same place. We did. So these are the figurines in the game, which are your architects. In these case, they're all painted in their colors, and they're really well, really well detailed. So I like that promo. Um, this is a game actually one of our local designers got, and we played it recently, and we just loved it. Vikings on board, also from Blue Orange, and this is the one that came with the. This is the one that came with the barrels. So. <laughs> right. uh, Vikings on board. Well, the theme we're both Viking lovers, so uh, the theme uh, it, it really appealed to us, and the components look great. So looking forward to trying this out. It's brand new, so I haven't had a chance to really go uh, find out much about no, it. No, but if you look at the back, I know you'll be able to see it here, but we've got some really cool, actually, like, actual, like, Viking ships. They're physical ships that you, you know, put, you know, use in the game. So I just like that it's so tactile and visually appealing. And for buying those two games at Blue Orange, we got this that I've not heard of before, Dragon Face. Yeah. It comes in this nice metal tube tin. Uh, it looks like an abstract game with an oriental theme. Kind of a checkers and China, uh, checkers chess kind of situation. So again, one of those games that we got, we didn't know anything about. So we'll, Dragon Face. We'll, we'll talk about more when we find out how to play it. Exactly. And one of the hardest expansions to find in our city, or in our wonderful city of Ottawa, is this Flip City Reuse. So Flip City is the deck building game. It's this tiny little deck building game by Tasty Minstrel Games. And this is apparently quite a, a very popular expansion. Like people, people are going crazy over this guy. So it was so hard to find in Ottawa, and we found a copy here, and I had to snatch it up because, man. Also from TMG, it's an expansion from one of our favorite ones, Scoville. Yes. And we did an unboxing of this, if you any of you remember. So if you don't remember, go check out our video on the unboxing of this when Mandy got her copy. So, so this is Scoville Labs. Um, check it out. Yeah, we we'll talked all about it there. This is another one we kind of were talking about with Indie Game Alliance. And in their booth was this gentleman that was doing this really cool game. Yeah, this is from um, Nevermore Games. Nevermore Games. So it's called Dark Dealings. It's kind of a, a, a traditional kind of fantasy theme. Uh, you know, you're kind of um, overlords of evil. And of course, life is never fair. So you're trying to compete to see who, which overlord can withstand. It's a card game, and I love the artwork on this one. It's what really drew me in was the card art. And this has got some of the expansions, the expansions mm -hmm. in it as well. So mm -hmm. we have like the full, full complement here. And of course, with Gen Con, you get all these really cool, like all of you were great. Like we actually just did a podcast with a, a podcast where, the where the Meeples Go podcast. So check out their day one of Gen Con podcast. We're going to be on that. We're getting all cool. sorts of buttons and pins. We got buttons. We got tasty minstrel dragons, which I think I'm going to make earrings out of. So these are going to be cool. And of course you get, you know, things like dice and just all this wonderful stuff. Promo cards for Star Realms and Epic the card game. Yeah. Um, another mini expansion for New York 1901. So yeah, so as you can see, day one, we got a lot of stuff. We kind of blew through our budget a little bit, so we're going to have to scale back the volume, maybe. But it's been a great experience so far. We're really enjoying it. We're a little physically exhausted because it is a lot of walking around, but Speed. having a fantastic time at our first Gen Con. We are, so tell you all more, more about our other days later. Bye. Bye for now.